Listen, I know I can't be the only one that feels a certain way about the squatter rights. And you know, a lot of crazy stuff comes out of Florida, but I got to give it to Florida. They passed that no squatters rights. Yes, yes, get them squatters out of here. Enough is enough, man. Like, the, the boldness of you, the ignorance of you to try to force your way into somebody else's home. Knowing that you don't even have a lease. You have no ties to that person's house. But you're just going to force yourself into the house and lie. Like, isn't that breaking and entering? Or maybe I'm wrong. But I hope the rest of the United States follow Florida footsteps and get rid of squatters' rights. Because I have a story for you guys at the end of this video. But with that said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section. And let me know what you think about this video in the comments. With that said, let's get into this one. On June 18th, 2021. Officers responded to a call about a woman trying to claim residency in a vacant apartment. Now I want to press charges because I paid somebody to stay here. That's your problem. Bro. I've been here more than 30 Stop. days. Put it in the strip. Stop. Listen to me. Listen, no, I'm honey. Sorry, you right? listen to me because listen you me. know I've been here more than 30 days. Right. Almost 30 days. You feel me? Almost. You got me f***ed up. You're not going to come here and do this. Ma'am. All right? And I told you. See, I'm a self-represented litigant. You feel me? So what? I will take Stop. your ass to court. Listen to me. <laughs> Yeah. Get your stuff and get out. I'm not getting my stuff, and I'm not going anywhere. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity. With the officer there, the landlord requested the woman be immediately removed from the apartment building. I'm not trespassing. I can give you my lease. Stop. Hey! Ow! Come out! Get your hands on your back. Get your hands. You stay up. Right there, don't you dare come up here. You hear me? You stay your ass right there. You stay behind over there. Stop it. Give me traffic. I'm fighting a woman up this call street. Stop. Listen to this clown down there. Somebody call the sheriff. You don't got a better arm like that. Sir, I'll call the sheriff. Why don't you go and record some real criminal activities that's going in probably right now in your neighborhood, sir? You notice that, guys? They don't ever bring the phones out and record real drive-bys and real drug deals that's happening. They don't ever do none of that. But they want to pull their phones out to record a white police officer or a black police officer. Because, you know, it's something against the police, you know. Police brutality is the number one thing that's destroying America. Yeah, right. They don't ever do that. No, but they record the cops doing their jobs. Can't make this up. Give me your hand. Give me your other hand. <laughs> How are you supposed to arrest her? You're going to jail too, so come here. <laughs> come here. You're being arrested too. Come here. Come here. Look at this clown. Somebody call the sheriff. Let me go. Let me go. Stop it. Let me go. Let me go. Stop it. Let me go. Stop it. Stop it. Let my people go. Listen to me. You are trespassing on private property. You refuse to leave. Now you're being arrested for resisting without violence or trespassing. Wow, that's a sad. Let me go! Let Let's me go! Stop! Stop, Miss yourself. Couple disappointed in. Let me go! Stop it! You're going to jail. Stop it! Let me. Okay. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let Brandon, please. <laughs> oh, he got backup coming. They're on their way. You remember my boy was outside recording, talking all that smack, right? Let's see if he sticks around. Maybe he's with her. I don't know, but let's find out. <laughs> Get off me. I can't you can't breathe. You can't breathe. You're no. on your side. Seriously? You're on your side. You have an open and I can't breathe. You have an open airway, you're breathing. 
breathing and screaming at the same time. Wow. Three on South, Channel Square, 1333. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's a female? No. Yeah, that's a female officer. What? All right, stand up. We're going to jail. Oh, and you dropped a meth pipe right there, too. You are not see me in my Are you crazy? No, you're being charged no. right now. Get this out. Leave me alone, you guys. Stand up. Stop. Going to jail. Stop. No, what did I do? What did I do? Stop, no, I'll Stop it. Up. All right. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my pinky. My pinky. No. I hit my baby no. toe. No. Stop. You had the opportunity to leave Miss Williams and you refused to do so. That's not what Then you decide you want to start. I don't understand. Why do people be confrontational when it comes to the police? When you know when you have illegal stuff on you. I really don't get it, man. Are they that gone from reality? This would have been me. Oh no. Nah. Everything everything good, sir. Now nah, what you say? Nah, because I, I, I mean, I'm explaining my situation as calmly as possible. Matter of fact, I wouldn't be in this position, but I'm just saying. You got drugs on you. Really? Make a scene. You tell a cop what you're going to do, and he has to listen. That was going to go her way. Yep. And she can't breathe. Screaming at the top of her lungs for the whole neighborhood to hear her. But, guys, she cannot breathe. Let the people resist arrest. That's not what happened. You guys chill out. Why are y'all doing that to me? Why are y'all doing this? Bro, chill out. Um, we've got another case open on her. We'll probably be putting charges on her. Uh, my complaint, sir. My complaint is right there at the top of the Yo. screen. Thank you. Yo. She has another case open on her. You can't make this up. Let me go, bro. I am not your damn brother. Bro. Bro, I paid the money to be there. You forgot, guys, she can't breathe. Do you have anything on you? No. It will be a charge if I find something. I don't do drugs. Do not do that. What did we do? What does fall out of pocket? Forget. Let's just put her in the car. I don't care. Let me go. Man, sit your ass down. Go get my phone. Go get my phone. They got all my kids. Right. Put in the car. Right. Oh, really? felony charge. Have a seat. I got a Have a seat. What do you have on you? I don't have anything. In the car. Okay. She is sweating. Oh my God. Now. Damn. Damn. Like a grown woman. The cop got frustrated. I, I'm telling you guys, <laughs> these are grown adults. You heard what he just said? Come on now, lady, you're a grown woman. <laughs> Something has to change, man. Something really got to change with society. These cops did not get paid to babysit. They did not. Babysitting takes a lot of patience. All right, it's different than being a cop. Even though you, you gotta have patience being a cop, but babysitting is a little more extreme. You shouldn't have to be going through this with grown folks. You should not. They should be able to understand and comprehend what you're saying. It shouldn't be nothing like this. No. <laughs> you kicking and fighting is not. I gotta you get in. Wait, look. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Put your foot in. Yo! You're kicking at me. It's not helping your situation. <laughs> Can't My radio make it up. done messed up again. My boy said, get in the car! <laughs> yeah, during the uh, struggle, that crap punch fell out. Yep, but you don't do drugs, guys. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. This is my sergeant. He, he showed up after the fact. I'm going to go and call Investigator Bartholomew on the burglary case that they have on her currently. Gotcha. Add that charge or not. Wow. She got a burglary you want me charge. To go back to my vehicle? Yeah. Okay. You can go back there and join him. I'm good here staying with him. 
Where's the other guy at? The guy, you notice the other guy in there no more? Where did he go? I got your phone and I got your shoes. You have me. Why you said that to me, y'all? Shut up. What if I said I thought maybe she had a gun or something like that? Would that? She's already been arrested for that. They released her after she got arrested for the warrant she had. The system again. Can't make this up. There's people in there. He came earlier this week. There was no one there. That's why he went in there to do work because he, it was vacant. And they broke the window last week uh, during a, uh, a domestic kind of thing going on here. We get here, there's nobody here, but we've seen these same two in and out. she re-entered here then? Is it the boyfriend's old apartment? Uh, there's no connection to it at all from what we could tell. The tussle started and I got her pinned and that's when I called for another. So, well, absolutely the crazy thing is apparently whenever you went, as you're going hands on, I called you on the radio. I don't know if you heard that. I didn't. Um, you would have been busy. Yeah, I'm a little busy. I, I, no kidding. Five seconds, <laughs> 10 seconds before you keyed up, I called you. Police 243, 313. And then it was dead air. And then it was the, you key up, hear her scream in the background asking for 64. There you go. Like, oh, that explains the beginning one. The cop was telling the other guy, come here, you're getting arrested too. So from what, because what he is saying, there was a domestic dispute, but every time they showed up, they both keep leaving. And you heard what he said, they broke into the window and went into the apartment. That's what I mean with the squad is right's nonsense. This squad is right should have never existed and never been a thing to begin with. Like, come, this is common sense, man. That's breaking and entering. You heard what he said. They broke the window and went in. And the reason why they got caught because the guy came to do some work in that vacant apartment. Some laws I just can't understand why they even exist to begin with. That's breaking and entering. Come on, man. Try breaking into a store when it's closed in the middle of the night and let me know what's going to happen to you. Exactly. So the other guy was with her. That's why he left. Okay, remember what I said to him? I'm like, where did the other guy go? As soon as you heard backup coming, he's out of there. Yeah, because he was going to get arrested too. Like, man. Man, timing. Timing. So they're both I together. I'll stay here. Watch the while you talk to her. Yeah, I'll be done in five minutes. Right. Yeah, go ahead, boss. Thank you. Please, please, God protect me, bro. Do you know who I am? Shut up for five seconds. Do you, who are you? know who I am? Man, please, bro. Man, what God gotta do with this? Be God out of this. God know me, bro. Right. Even if I don't know him, bro. God know me. Right. Miss Williams. Know who I am, bro. God knows you're breaking the law. I ain't no criminal, no, bro. Listen, it's all, listen, it's all over. I know. I got your shoes here. It's not over, phone, bro. And I got your mask. It's not over. Are you going to get out of the car for me? No. You're not going to get out of the car? No, bro. You're going to make me go get all these don't people put, out here to come get Don't you. put your hands on me no more, my man. Get out of the car. Don't, don't put your hands on me get no more, my guy. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Okay, you don't put your hands on me. You don't touch me. Okay. For real. Uh, you got it. Getting caught in fall in the nonsense. You, but we can't talk to all this glass. So, I had to fight her to get her in cuffs to get her in the car. So now she don't want me to get out of the car. I think she just <sighs> got released a couple days ago for. Hey, at least we got black time. police officers. It's unlocked. Good. Sir. Hey, hey, my man better not put his hands on me no more. You feel me? You better not put your hands on me no more, bro. You ain't even a black man, bro. You ever put your hands on me, you feel me? I called it. What did I just say? I said, look, we got black police officers. She just told that white cop, bro, you touch me and you're not even a black man. So, so I guess so I guess it matters. I thought a cop was a cop. No, it's white and black cop. They're soaking in delusion, huh? They're soaking in it all in there, huh? Bro, I love you, my guy, but don't put your hands on me no more, man. You feel me? I love what? Hey. 
Don't do drugs, kids. Do not do drugs. Whatever I did to offend you, bro. You got my shoes. What you doing in my shoes, bro? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You brought my shoes to me in the car. You brought my shoes to me in the car. Why you bring that shit in my shoes? I'll wait out here for hey, you. Hey, you got line. door handles you on the car. You want me to help you drag her in there? You got door handles on the inside of the car. What police officer? You got another crack pipe in there? Go have door handles on the inside of their car. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Cocaine is a hell of a drug. 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 Mm. <laughs> you got some out my jaw drop. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. She wants to know why there's a door handle inside of the police car and going off about there being a door handle inside of the police car. God bless you, bro. Man, listen, people, listen. You're doing drugs. Or you have the curiosity about drugs. Do not think about it even once. Get that out of your mind. Look what it does to you firsthand. Yes. She says she don't do drugs, but meanwhile, all the drugs fell out of her pocket. You just can't make this stuff up. Like, like you just really can't make this stuff up. She needs help. Rehab, reevaluated. Yes, and this is what I'm talking about. You got people like this breaking into your abandoned property or apartment, whatever that it is. There's no lease. Breaking in there. Let's say you're on vacation for a couple of weeks. And before you left, somebody already broke into there. You come back, somebody in your apartment. Now you got to go through the courts and the system and all that nonsense. That's breaking and entering. That is wrong, man. I will never agree with that. I'm glad Florida got rid of that. Because that is ridiculous. Look at the type of people that's breaking into your homes. That's abandoned. And I told you guys I had a story for you guys. So apparently there was this woman. I believe it was New York City. Somewhere in New York. And her mom passed away. So you know when, you, when your family member passed away, a lot of stuff going on. You're busy. You're working. It's a lot of stuff that's going on. So she was busy. She came back after a while. And when she came back, somebody was living in the house. And apparently he ended up getting some type of stuff in the in the mail in that house, right? Now that he got something in the mail in that house, can picture your mom died, and so you're busy. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on. She called a news station, had them come down there. Cops came to the squatter was already there, and he's literally lying, saying that he's been living there. Yes, guys, yep. Yeah. But he couldn't show. That's the thing, man. I don't understand. He couldn't show one proof. Of a lease being signed. Oh, some type of agreement. Something. So the lady changed all the locks on the house. Everything. And one day she tried to, she tried to, tried to open the door. Because she was probably she was doing some stuff inside. He really tried to force him away. He literally forced himself into the house. And guess who got arrested? The woman. She went to jail. And the squatter. Continue the rest of the day in the house like it was his house. Man, that's breaking and entering. This woke, I, I know it's been around for a long time, but apparently from what they said, it got it only got worse after um, 2020 with COVID. But come on, man, that's breaking and entering. I don't care how you try to sugarcoat it. If you don't got a lease, someone with your signature on it, man, I ain't trying to hear none of that nonsense. That's breaking and entering. You're a burglar. I'm going to use my rights. <laughs> now, you know the rights I'm talking about. Yes. No, man, that's ridiculous. Look at look look at this lady, man. Look what that landlord had to go through. You're dealing with a drug addict. Someone off hinge. L -l -l little out there. No, well, very out there. He has to put up with all of that. I'm glad that cop played no games, man. That's a no-nonsense cop. He came there to handle business. Man, I hope she gets some type of help. Man, she don't seem that old, too. That's the thing, man. She don't seem that old. Boy, like around 30 years old. That's still young. Hopefully she gets some type of help, man. But, whoa. She's really out there, man. Wow. I talk about... <clears throat> she's being very racist. 
very racist. You know what they say, man. I mean, when you consume certain type of alcohol or drugs, you know, sometimes the worst of the worst comes out of you. And we were seeing the worst of her worst come out of her. Ah, uh, my man didn't stick around. So apparently the, the guy that was there with the red shirt that you saw at the beginning who was talking to Smack trying to record, apparently he's with her. That's why you didn't see no signs of him when backup arrived. He is gone. <laughs> and she has she has a charge and a warrant out for her arrest for um burglar. And you know what the cops said, right? She had a warrant out for arrest and they end up the, the um they let her go. The system again. Gotta blame the system. Cops do their job. Criminals get a slap on the wrist and they're back on the street. Doing the same nonsense over again. Guess what we call that? Revolving door. Hey man, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. And let me know what you think about this video in the comments. And she's talking about God. Man, why don't you pray to God so you, so you could get over your addiction. Ask God for the strength. Ask God to heal your heart. Because you got hate in your heart too at the same time. Why don't you ask God to give you the strength to quit doing drugs. Ask God to give you the strength to try to live a normal life and go get a job. Huh? That's what you should be asking God for. But then again, this is what happens when you're on drugs. Please, do not do drugs. Until then, I'll catch you guys the next time. Peace out. You guys have a blessed day.